What's up guys? Welcome back to welcome back to another video. In today's video, um, we're actually back at the garage. I, I literally didn't even we didn't even leave. I called my dad. He told me we'll meet up later today. So um, from what you guys saw in the last video, this is literally just a continuation, exact same time. So we're gonna go ahead and install the rest of the carbon fiber on the car. I am just super stoked to get the carbon, especially the front lip on the car. These side screws are so aggressive. It's probably gonna make this i8 stand out so much. And that is actually the reason why I went with this kit, mainly because I don't want my i8 looking like every other i8. I want it to be very exclusive. That's why I'm also going wheels, custom steering wheel. I'm gonna be even going with the massive spoiler and a wrap. Like we want to make a car as unique as possible. Let me know, should we do coilovers or should we do air suspension on the i8? Here's how an i8 looks on coilovers and here's how an i8 looks on bags. So I mean, it looks freaking insane. These are a few photos that I actually found of an i8 on bags and look absolutely gorgeous. So let me know down below guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and get all this carbon on the car. We need to shoot an amazing cinematic. First things first, let's go ahead and get the lip on there because it, I, I think it's just gonna make a huge difference. I just wanna see the lip. I love this lip. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and put on this lip because again, guys, it looks absolutely stunning and I just wanna see it on the car. So in terms of screws, we have a lot. So I think it actually replaces all the hardware that's currently underneath the bumpers. So let's go ahead and remove all the original hardware, heat up this 3M, and then just install this puppy because again, I'm very excited. So the front lip is officially heated up. Let's go ahead and throw it on. I am just too excited. Yep. Oh my god. I, I think they need to see the side a little bit. Oh my god, dude. That thing is so aggressive. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. I look at look at the fitment. Like honestly, this is probably my my most favorite carbon fiber. Like hey guys, the fitment. The dude, you feel how thick this is? Yeah. Like it's just you can't even flex it. The quality is insane. The fitment on the sides of the gaps, like. The gaps are just literally perfect. I cannot believe it. Um, and I come around from the front end, if you guys look at it, it looks really aggressive. Now, if you come into the sides, um, that's why I had to get the side skirt. It just looks a little empty here. So we're gonna we're gonna have to send it with some more carbon fiber. You ready, Dio? I'm set. Let's get it, dude. Guys, so the odd idea with the 3M right here, look at this. I'm gonna let go. Check that out. That is gorgeous. I'm gonna go ahead and leave my hand on there, just make sure you know it actually rests and cures. Uh, because we did hit up the 3M, but oh my god, guys, the fitment is just and then the best part also, we got to get rid of that flappy little thing here. I always thought that thing back there was a little bit weird, so now it's just straight carbon. So <laughs> perfect. Can't complain with that. So let's go ahead and down the car, see it for the first time. Oh my god. <laughs> no way, dude. Oh, dang, dude. <laughs> look, guys, look how look aggressive that, that looks. It's literally like, dang. It's like one of those things you put your fist through it. Oh my god, that's crazy. We're about to get it out in the sun for you guys. Let's go ahead and just do the other side real quick. So give us another three, two, one. And one day later, guys, the car is absolutely filthy. So, yes, um, before I shoot a cool little cinematic for you guys, I should probably clean up the car. So where is the hose? Ba -da 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 -da, right there. Going to grab that guy. Oh, nope, we gotta move this right over here. This is the 650i hood, guys. I don't know if you guys remember that hood, but that I need to still get rid of, and I still need to get rid of that. And um, yes, I need this right now. So let's go ahead and take this and uh, head out to the front yard. And now we got power, boys. It only took like 15 steps.
let you know when this thing's 100% dry, because this is taking a little bit longer than I thought. All right, guys, now that the car is 100% perfect, let's go ahead and find some place to do a little quick little drone footage, because I don't, I'm not good at flying the drones. So let's go find some place that I won't crash. Guys, I just found these homes that they're building in this area right here. It's not too far from my house. I cannot wait for the day that we actually cop our own house. We'll have to have the biggest driveway in the world because I want so many BMWs. I actually have always wanted to start some kind of M collection. So I think it'd be super, super, super dope that one day, if we get a house, we get a huge driveway and just park all the cars there and just have all the boys over and just have a place that I've always wanted. Like we got the shot for the intention of having it YouTube oriented. That's the reason I left because the people I was there with, we were kind of bumping heads and uh, you know, end of the day, it, it just wasn't what we wanted it to be, which was a YouTube oriented place where we can meet other YouTubers, make the place just for builds, for you know, for the channel and stuff. But yeah guys, <laughs> that'll be super, super, super dope. Hopefully, hopefully, God bless. I never thought I'll make it this far. Hopefully we'll be getting a home. I don't know, and I don't think anytime soon to be honest, but <laughs> hopefully one day with a big driveway. We've always got to dream big. If you dream big, you know, you have something to kind of work towards. So, you know, setting goals is what honestly keeps me driven and putting myself in situations that I need to get out of always keeps me driven. That's why I've always, you know, I, I loved kind of financing cars. I kind of hate it, kind of love it. It's kind of like this mixed thing, mainly because I hate being in a debt, but at the same time being in debt, I want to get out of it. So especially when buying a car like this, my, my number one thing is to try to pay it off. Like that's in the back of my mind all the time. I want to pay it off. And once I pay it off, this car is going to be worth a good chunk of money, which you can put towards, you know, a bigger and better super car, as you guys say. I'm speaking kind of quietly if you guys have seen me I'm not like the same exact tone or voice mainly because I don't know if anyone's living here yet it says like a sold sign on that house sold sign on that house sold sign on that house so I'm trying to respect people if if people live here yeah I don't know I don't really don't know if people live here yet but anyway let's go ahead and get the drone out because I really want to get some cool footage I'm running out of time every day goes by so fast and every moment counts baby I don't want to miss a thing we can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars Guys, so that was officially. I, I hope no one, I hope myself didn't throw in some bad music. I hope you guys enjoyed that little cinematic there. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button. Also, guys, so by the way, I know a lot of you guys are messaging me on Instagram saying when is the new build gonna come. So in Copart, if you guys want to go look on it right now, I cannot find a single M car because I'm not looking at M5s or M6s. I'm pretty much looking at anything else that's M other than those two. I can't find a single one in California that's that's not like on the lot. Basically all of them say coming lot or future lot. It won't actually hit the auction floor. I have literally 20 in my watch list and none of them are hitting the auction floor. I don't know why, maybe because of COVID and stuff like that. So if that's the case, I'm probably gonna be picking up a, a cheaper build for now just to just build another BMW, save another BMW and then just wait for the auctions to open back up. Like literally guys, check out Copart. Like go to Copart and check. There's literally no M cars hitting the auction. I really genuinely do not know why. If you guys know, let me know down below. And there's two supercars I'm looking at because they have super high mileage, but they are supercars. So they're in the same price range as an M car. And it's pretty cool to have a supercar on the channel. From what I understood, this is pretty much just an exotic. And you know, I'm okay with that. This is a beautiful exotic. But I mean, supercar would be would be dope. Would be awesome, right guys? So anyhow, that pretty much concludes the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. If you guys love the carbon fiber on this car, make sure to check out Key Motorsports down below and use code NOR5 to get 5% off anything that's carbon fiber, anything that's from Keys Motorsports. And without further ado, guys, let me know. Should we save another BMW for the meantime while waiting for the M build or should we just literally just wait for the M? Let me know what you guys want to see on this channel. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for the constant support. Thank you guys for making my dreams a reality. If you guys have dreams, make sure to chase them every single day because, you know, honestly, what else, like li life is like we live and we die. I mean, what else is there to it? So make sure you guys give it your all. So at the end of the day, you have no regrets because let's be real. No one wants to live life with regrets. So work hard, stay humble guys. I love y'all so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth